Hey guys, and welcome to your singles love reading for Sagittarius. Uh, this is going to be for your February 2023. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So these are the Sagittarians that are currently not dealing with anyone. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. Uh, we'll take a look and see what your blocks and challenges are in finding love. And then we'll finish off the read to see... Um, you know, uh, what you guys need to know, look out for, work on if there's anyone new coming towards you, if there is, what this person's, what this person is like. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message uh, didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the uh, collective Sagittarius people. Uh, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the, descri is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about... Uh, Tell me about Sagittarius here. Tell me about Sagittarius, single Sagittarius in love. What is going on with single Sagittarius in love for um, February 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Sagittarius people. Ugh. Look at the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. In the world. Perhaps a, something ended here, something closed out here, okay? Regarding a, a relationship here, perhaps. Knight of Cups here and the Three of Cups. You know, I just feel like you guys are in the singles energy. You know, you guys are doing well on your own. You're going out there, meeting new people, enjoying yourselves. All right, some of you guys are traveling a lot. We have the Page of Pentacles here and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. We have a king to queen of cups here. I feel like you might be dealing with a soulmate or a soulmate might be coming into your life. You might be meeting this person through your travels. Like, I feel like you're not looking for love at this very moment here, but I feel like the, someone here is going to catch your eye, uh, Sagittarius. Okay? You're definitely in hermit mode here. No, or that you're keeping to yourself. Hermit, Virgo energy, the star card here, Aquarius energy. But like I said, I feel like there will be someone that you will meet along the way here that's going to really catch your eye, okay? There might be an instant connection or instant spark. Nine of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups, Three of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles. Seems like there's a new beginning in love here for you, Sagittarius. Like I said, I feel like you might be meeting this person through your travels here. Okay, the uh, Two of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles, you're about to meet your soulmate here. The Page of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups here and the Queen of Cups here and the Five of Cups. Very, very, very interesting. You know, whoever this is, I don't know, maybe this is, a, this is also someone that you've dealt with before. This person regrets walking away from you. So this is your soulmate, and the new person that's coming in is this Nine of Pentacles here, this pre-empress here. But yeah, I, I feel like you're, you're about to meet a new soulmate, and I feel like it could be that Nine of Pentacles. It, it also could be that you're enjoying your single life here too. Um, so let's see what else we have. Um, tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about single Sagittarius. What are the blocks and challenges in finding love? What are their blocks and challenges in finding love? For February 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for, um, for Sagittarius. Queen of Swords here in the Three of Wands. The Devil here in the Three of Wands. Oh, no, the Two of Wands. Ten of Wands here in the Four of Cups here. I do feel like this Queen, this Queen of Cups and this Queen of Swords is someone that you dealt with before. Yeah, King of Swords here. There was a soulmate that you were dealing with. But it seems like there's a new soulmate coming in for you. Yeah, I, I do feel like you're healing from like a traumatic situation here from, like in the past. And I feel like you're trying to heal from it. You're trying to move on from it. 
whoever this is, this person's like yearning for you to come back or that this person's waiting for you to come back. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, Three of Wands. We have the Devil here and the Two of Wands. One of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you're still kind of like feeling this person's like negative toxic energy here, okay? It does seem like whoever this is, this person might have a very strong, strong hold on you. It could be like, you know, It could be that, you know, this person is trying to like suck you back into their craziness here. The Ten of Wands here and the Four of Cups. It's like they're trying to like tempt you or, or something like that. Or trying to entice you to come back. We have the King of Swords here and the High Priestess. This is someone that you're not talking to. This is someone that you've kept silent from. I feel like you, you're, you're scared of this person too. Whoever this is, I feel like this person really hurt you. This person was really deceptive here, uh, Sagittarius. It seems like you might have cut the cords with this individual, but I feel like this person hasn't yet. You know, I do feel like you're you're still holding on to a lot of pain. Yeah. That this person has caused you. Even if this new person came in, I feel like you might reject this person because there is still an energy of, of yearning for a past person here or a past person yearning for you. Um, we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Energy with the Death card. Um, tell me about uh, single Sagittarius here. What else does single Sagittarius need to know, look out for, work on here? Is there anyone new coming in towards single Sagittarius' way? There's going to be some sort of instant spark, but I do feel like this person's stronghold on you will hinder you in, in actually fully exploring this new person here, Sagittarius. Whoever this is, this past person really kept you really stuck, kept you paranoid. You know, we have Justice card in the Five of Swords, we have Temperance here in the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Cups here in the Two of Swords here. We have Justice in the Five of Swords. Could be dealing with the karmic here. Five of Swords. Um, Libra energy with the Justice card. We have the uh, Temperance card and the Ten of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Cups and the Two of Swords. You know, I, I, I do feel like, I don't know, I feel like you might be having nightmares about this person. This is interesting because, you know, if you're having nightmares or having dreams about this person, I feel like this person is trying to purposely enter your dreams here, Sagittarius. Justice. Nine of Swords. Five of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person is trying to enter your dreams, trying to work things out here with you. Like I said, I feel like this person is trying to entice you. Uh, you know, maybe in the dream, they're kind of like, oh, I've changed. I'm better now. But I don't think it's true. I think it's a lie. Temperance, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups here, and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. This is kind of like, uh, you know, this past person is kind of like a very deceptive individual here. I do feel like this person you know, is able to manipulate energies or manipulate your mind from a distance, manipulate your emotions. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Nine of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Two of Swords here in the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, one of the things I'm getting here is that I just feel like you're really focusing on your freedom here. You're focusing on your happiness. You know, I feel like you're trying to learn your lessons here, Sagittarius. But I do see a new person coming in. I, I, I see you like having an instant connection with this person, but you might realize that you're, you're not ready for this new person yet. Yeah, you're not ready for this new person yet, but there is like a past person that's still kind of in your field. All right, so Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.